welcome to the class children how are you now once again i want to remember uh, i want to say about this sms s stands for social distance m for mask and s for so you use so or sanitizer clear your clean your hands and maintain social distance and always wear mask if you follow this three your health will be good okay now in the last session in exercise 1.1 we completed up to 6 sums now 7 sums now page number 20 take out all of your page number 20 open page number 20 ma'am all of you now 7 sums from the textbook you have to copy the question i will solve the sum on the board okay now 7 sir evaluate evaluate
subtract 3 by 4 from 1 by 3. So you have to do the subtraction of the two fractions. So here which one you will write first? This one 1 by 3. After from what is the fraction will be there that you have to write it first. Now 1 by 3 minus 3 by 4. Now is there any common uh, table for 3 and 4? No, no. So what we have to do? We have to multiply. That is 3 fours are 12. In 3 table how many times 12 will come? 4 times. 4 into numerator 1 minus. Again in 4 table how many times 12 will come? 3 times. 3 into again numerator 3. Now 4 ones are 4 minus 3 threes are 9 by 12. Now 4 minus 9 how much? 5. But which 5? Which number, which greater number is having sign? That sign only you have to take. That is 9 is having minus sign. So in answer also you will get minus 5 by 12. Now understood? So this first bit subtraction I did. Remaining two bits are there. Second and the third that you have to do. In second sum see minus 32 by 13 from 2. So here 2 is given. Denominator not there means Always 1 is the denominator. Okay, you can take 2 by 1. 1 as the denominator. Now, so second and third bits are homework. Now, ninth one. What number should be added to? So, question you copy the, from your textbook. See the textbook. Now, I will explain ninth sum. See, ninth one. What numbers? What number should be added to minus 5 by 8? So to get, so to get minus 3 by 2. What number should be added? What number should be added to minus 8 by minus 5 by 8 to get this one? So that number, what that number we don't know. So what we will try? Let the number be x. So solution. Question I am not writing. You have to see from the textbook. Okay. Now let the number be x. Let the number be x. Then next one. The given number. The given number. What is the given number now? Number or fraction. Whatever it may be you can write. No problem. Now. So to get minus 3 by 2 add, after adding the result we should, we should say that sum. So the sum is equal to, the sum is equal to minus 3 by 2. Now according to the sum, ACC dot means according, according to the sum, according to the sum, what we can write now? X minus 5 by 8 is equal to minus 3 by 2. So, if you add this 2, you should get this one. So, here why I wrote minus 5 plus of minus. Minus only. See, otherwise you can write like this also. No problem. X plus of minus 5 by 8. So, if you add X plus minus 5 by 8, you should get this one. Okay. Now, this become, here I will write. Now, X. Now when you are opening the bracket, what I said? You should multiply the signs. So plus into minus. Minus. Minus 5 by 8 is equal to minus 3 by 2. Now understood? Now you have to, what you have to do now? It implies this minus 5 by 8 you should replace to the right side of the equation. That become x is equal to minus 3 by 2. This plus will go that side. It become this minus will go that side. It become plus plus 5 by 8. Now understood. Now take the LCM of 2 and 8. What are the? Is there any common table for 2 and 8? Yes. 2 is the common table. Take 2 as the common table. 2 ones are 2. 2 fours are 8. Now 2 fours are 8 is the LCM. 2 fours are 8 is the LCM. Now in 2 table how many times 8 will come? 4 times. 4 into numerator is minus. You have to put in a 
bracket. Whenever you will get minus uh, numbers, minus sign numbers, you should put in a bracket. Now, plus 10 divided by 8, 1 into 5. Now, plus here, before the 4 plus is there, plus into minus, minus 4 threes are 12, plus 1 fives are 5 by 8. Now, my plus, uh, minus 12 plus 5, subtract. So, minus 12 plus 5, how much you will get now? Minus 7 by 8. So, what is that number? The number will be minus 8, minus 7 by 8. Therefore, x is equal to minus 7 by 8. Okay, we got x value. Either it is right or wrong. How can you say it is right or wrong? What we have to do? You have to check it. Either you are getting the answer is correct or not. Now, check we will do. If you do the check in not only 8th class, in every class, even 10th also, even inter also, if you do the check, na, you, there only you will know, know that, okay, this answer is right. Suppose you are not getting the same answer, then again you have, you have to check the sum from first. So, checking is very important. Now, do the check now. What is the equation we got? x minus... 5 by 8 is equal to minus 3 by 2. Okay. So, this one you have to get. Write out in place of x. What the value we got? Minus 7 by 8. Minus 7 by 8 minus 5 by 8. What you have to get now? Minus 3 by 2. Now, for 8 and 8, what is the LCM? Denominator is same. So, that number only is the LCM. Now, 8 divided by 8 is 1. 1 into minus 7, minus 7. Then again minus. 8 divided by 8, 1. 1 into 5, 5. Is equal to minus 3 by 2. Now, minus 7, minus 5. What you will get? Huh? Minus 12. If the numbers are having same sign, you should add. But the sign will be minus only, not a plus sign. Here we are adding this. That is not that you have to put plus sign. These two numbers having minus, so you should put minus sign only. Minus 12 by 8 is equal to minus 3 by 2. Now, is there any common table for 12 and 8? Yes. Which table? 4. 4 is the common table. 4 in 8, 4 uh, in uh, 4 table 8 will come 2 times. In 4, uh, 4 table 12 will come 3 times. Now you are getting minus 3 by 2. Is equal to minus 3 by 2. Both side you are getting same answer. No. So that's why your answer will be right. Like this each and every sum. Even 1 mark, 2 mark or 4 mark. Whenever in not only in 8th class. Whenever you go to higher classes. If you do check up. Then only you can know that how many marks you can get. Okay. Now understood. Now 10th one. Now see the tenth sum now. What is tenth one? The sum of two rational numbers is 8. One of the number is minus 5 by 6. Find out the. This is same as ninth one only. But it is given in the sentence form. Okay. So what is given? The sum of two rational numbers. So first what is given? Write a question I am not writing. See from the textbook. The sum of two rational numbers. The sum of. Two rational numbers. First, whenever you will read the sum, first what is given, write down. The sum of two rational numbers is equal to 8. Then after that, what is given? One of the number is given. One of the number. One of the number is minus 5 by 6. So, we have to find the other number. The other number we don't know. So, what we will do now? Let the other number be? Let the other number let the other number be x will take ok let the other number be x now according to the sum according to the problem or sum whatever you can write now here sum is nothing but addition I said no so addition of if you add this and this you are getting this so according that sum you have to write minus 5 by 6 plus x is equal to k. Now, this minus 5 by 6 you have to replace to the right side of the equation. 
it implies whenever you are changing or whenever you are doing the sum each and every step you should uh, write the implies already i said in the 7th class now now implies x is equal to 8 this minus will go that side it become plus 5 by 6 now 8 here there is no denominator means always 1 is the denominator now in 1 and 6 what is the common table 6 only common table now take 6 as the x here uh, in one table 6 will come 6 times 6 8s are 48 plus 6 divided by 6 1 1 into 5 5 now 48 plus 5 53 53 by 6 is therefore x is equal to 53 by 6 then what we have to do you have to do the check either we got the correct answer or not you can do the check here now according to the sum we don't know that equation you have to take now minus 5 by 6 plus x is equal to 8 now minus 5 by 6 plus what is the x value we got 53 by 6 is equal to 8 means if you solve this one you should get the RHS now what is the LCM of this 3 6 both the denominators are same so 6 is the LCM 6 divided by 6, 1. 1 into minus 5, minus 5. Plus 6 divided by 6, 1. 1 into 53, 53. Is equal to 8. Now, plus 5, uh, sorry, minus 5 plus 53. How much you will get now? 48. 53 minus 5. 48 you will get now? 48 by 6 is equal to 8. 6 1s are, 6 8s are. Now, both sides you got the same answer, no? 8 is equal to 8. So, our answer will be right. So, suppose this sum is having 2 marks, you will get the 2 marks. So, like that, you, are, you get the clarification. So, check, if you do the check in mathematics, it is easy. How many marks we can know, we can get. There only you can know that. Okay? Now, okay children, how many sums we completed now? Now, 7, 8, 9, 10 sums we completed. That is 4 sums we completed. Now, 11 and 12 are homework. Okay. 13 is the only you have to write the set of numbers which do not have any detail inverse. Means it is uh, correct or not you have to see. Okay. So, 11, 12 and 13 are the homework. Okay. Homework is Exercise 1.1 Already we completed up to 10 sums. So 11, 12 and 13. 11, 12 and 13 sums are over. Now our exercise 1.1 is completed. Okay ma? I hope all are understood. Thank you children.